Good morning. It is Friday the 8th of January and this morning we were reading Ezra chapter 8 and Acts chapter 8. Uh, and this morning I wanted to continue with that theme from Wednesday of seeing God's faithfulness as he is at work uh, in difficult times and that we can trust him in the midst of it. And as we uh, look at that theme, I want us to look again at, at Acts chapter 8 and just to see what God was doing in the church. So if you remember from yesterday's reading, Stephen, uh, this godly leader in the church, uh, was executed by stoning. And and the apostle Paul, while he was still a Pharisee and named Saul, approved of them killing him. But then I want you to see what happened that day. So the second half of verse 1, chapter 8, it says, On that day, a great persecution broke out against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. So the church had been enjoying this period of, of growth. They had enjoyed gathering together in the temple in Solomon's colonnade and listening to the apostles' teaching. They'd seen many, many people becoming Christians and the church just seemed to be growing and going from strength to strength. And then this great persecution broke out and they were scattered over the whole of Judea and Samaria. And I can only imagine at that moment that they thought, it's all over. It's, it's totally ruined. Everything's ruined. We're no longer going to be able to gather together. The, the new Christians are no longer going to be able to sit and listen to the teaching from the apostles. I'm sure the church leaders thought, how on earth are we meant to hold this together in these circumstances? I'm sure that the people thought, how am I meant to keep going in my faith when all of those things that I relied upon were taken away? But even in this, even in this scattering of the church, God was at work. And as we read on in, in chapter 8, we see that through this, the word of God reached Samaria. And many, many people in Samaria became Christians. Actually, the through this persecution, God used it for good and many, many more people who would never have heard began to hear the gospel the good news of Jesus. But I want you to notice one key thing, the reason why this turned out to be a good thing. And I think we find it in verse 4. It says, those who had been scattered preached the word wherever they went. Those who had been scattered preached the word wherever they went. If those Christians had left Jerusalem and thought, well, it's all over. I'll just hunker down and look after my own faith. I don't want to be too loud just in case I start to be persecuted too. We don't want the same thing to happen in other parts as, as has happened in Jerusalem. Then there would have been no fruit from the scattering. But because these people, as they were scattered, continued to tell people about the Lord Jesus, People started to hear and many people in Samaria became Christians because the people were faithful. The Christians were faithful. The disciples of Jesus continued to do what he had told them to do. And the word was spread. And I want to just challenge us today because I think that we do face these days and think what on earth is going on? How could God use this for good? And I think the answer for us today is if we keep doing what God has called us to do. All of the things that God has called us to do and not least telling people about the good news of the Lord Jesus, telling people that there is a hope that comes through the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. So let me challenge you today to try and refocus, to think actually because of lockdown, life doesn't stop. Serving Jesus doesn't stop. And so ask, how can you serve God, serve Jesus, live as a Christian in the circumstances that you find yourself today? Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you so much that you are the God of the universe, that nothing takes you by surprise, and that you are able to use all things for your good. And we ask, Father, that you would help us to be like those early Christians who continued to be faithful in the face of great difficulty. Father, help us to continue to strive and to 
push forward in our faith, continue to proclaim the good news of Jesus, even in these difficult days that we find ourselves. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I hope you have a good day. God bless.